come. Did you know that 25% of our population will be confronted with one or more anxiety disorders during a lifetime? But why do people who were once bitten by a Doberman develop fear for all dogs, including the kind and cuddly ones? This all has to do with the phenomenon of fear generalization. Our research team has investigated this phenomenon throughout seven years of intense research. In the past, it was often assumed that the difference between normal healthy fear and an anxiety disorder concerns a difference of intensity. This turns out to be inaccurate. The difference is not so much a difference in terms of intensity, less or more fear like a thermometer, but more the extent to which the fear spreads like an oil slick. And that is generalization. Let me explain myself. After being bitten by a Doberman, many will undoubtedly fear this one specific animal. And indeed, some fear is healthy because the animal has proven to be unreliable and potentially dangerous. The fear will keep you at a distance and will protect you from any further harm. But fear can also expand by generalization. Suddenly, all Dobermen are dangerous. And after a while, other larger dogs will also induce fear, such as German Shepherds, Labrador Retrievers, or even Poodles. And over time, some people will not even leave their house because of their fear of encountering this cute fella. The same principle of generalization holds for all fears, such as fear of flying, fear of spiders, and claustrophobia. Over the last seven years, our team has unveiled the mechanisms of fear generalization in several hundreds of participants. We have objectified fear learning using images of circles and triangles and aversive electrical stimuli. That's easier than using dogs and bite incidents. This type of research is important because the societal cost of anxiety disorders is enormous. Thanks to our new insights, we have a better understanding of how we can prevent generalization and how we can make existing treatments better. The treatment of choice for most anxiety disorders consists of a step-by-step -step exposure to the situations and stimuli that one fears. Please note that this type of treatment sometimes takes less than one day to complete. And this way, we leave generalization no chance.